What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now recently I've been getting a lot of requests by you guys asking me to show you guys how I keep my vegetables fresh and how I store them in the fridge or the freezer. So I already did a video where I showed you how to cut up the eggplant and store it in your freezer for use in any dish. And in today's video, I will do the same with my pumpkin here. So if you wanna see how I do this, please keep on watching. The process when cutting up and peeling the pumpkin is quite self-explanatory. I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks. I always recommend that when you're cutting up your pumpkin, you go ahead and cut it into thin strips as you see I'm doing here. That's gonna make it much easier when you go to peel them and when you go to remove the seeds. I find that when you try to peel it as it's whole or in that one big chunk, or you try to take out the seeds, it's a little hard, a little difficult, and also when trying to peel it, it is dangerous if you do it with the whole chunk. Now, if you didn't have access to pumpkin, you can try to go ahead and find a frozen alternative, maybe in your freezer section at your local grocery store, or you can also use the fresh acorn squash, you can use butternut squash, or the calabasa squash in the grocery store as well. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm beginning to peel my pumpkin, I'm trying to peel off all of those green parts as well as the skin, and then what I'm doing is I'm going in with my knife and and I am cutting out that membrane that holds all of the seeds. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is keep some of those seeds aside so I can go ahead and plant them and hopefully get my own pumpkin plant one day. Now once you've got all of your pieces of pumpkin all peeled and the seeds removed, you're gonna go ahead and start to chip it up as Guyanese people would say. Basically you're gonna start to slice it into thin elongated slices so this way it will be easy to cook and it will melt away really nicely when you go to make your fried pumpkin or your pumpkin curry. So as you guys can see I'm using the help of my thumb and my index finger to go ahead and cut my pumpkin and slice it with the knife. If you did not feel comfortable chopping it up this way, you can go ahead and put it straight down on the board and you can slice it up that way too. Whatever way works for you and whatever way you're comfortable with using the knife, feel free to do it that way. Before I show you guys the finished chopped pumpkin, I just wanted to let you guys know, as I mentioned before, you can go ahead and put it down on your board as you're seeing here and you can slice it up just like this. For me, this is a little quicker. The other way is the way that my grandmother does it and sort of the more traditional way of chopping it up, but just do it as per how comfortable you are with doing it. So I have all of my pumpkin here chipped up and in my bowl and it is ready to wash. As you guys can see, all of the pieces are relatively the same size and the same thickness. That's gonna allow it for even cooking and all of the pumpkin pieces will melt away really nicely when you're cooking any dishes that you desire. Basically what I'm doing is I'm running it under some cool water and basically I'm gonna keep on draining off that water maybe once or twice until I've washed it out really well and then I'm gonna empty it into a colander so this way all of the water can drain off. And here is all of my pumpkin, nice and bright orange, sitting in my colander, just straining off all of that extra water. The reason why I like to strain off all of the extra water is because if you were to put it in the freezer while it is super wet, it will tend to clump up with large pieces of ice and then it is prone to freezer burn, which you don't want. So I allowed my pumpkin to drain for maybe 20 to 25 minutes and once all of the water was done and drained from it, I went ahead and I parceled them out into two Ziploc bags. The pumpkin that I had would make two servings for me and my family, but this is just the way I did it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to preserve your pumpkin. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed yet, and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you would like to see next. I'll see you guys again soon. And just a little PS, make sure you're on the lookout for this delicious fried pumpkin recipe that I will have coming on my channel very soon. It is the perfect vegan slash vegetarian recipe to serve alongside some solder roti, oil roti, or even on top a bed of steamed rice. So be on the lookout for that one, guys.